What's up, YouTube? I'm here to just talk about uh, why I didn't do my the video for Condon vs. Alves, and it was just because I was moving, and um, I got a new computer now, so the video should be up regularly. And once again, the channel is now Conan Zena, just because, um, you know, uh, uh, because my other account was just being weird. So I just wanted to do a recap of USC 187 real fast. Um, I'm not going to recap the other cards just because this one was a big one. I just wanted to do this one. I'm going to start recapping them and predicting them all from now on. You'll see my prediction video for 188, and I'll do a recap for that too. And from all the cards from now on. It was just really hectic because I was moving, you know. So, um, But now it should be all good. You know what I mean? From now on, I should be able to put predictions up and recaps up because I'm all moved in now and I have a new computer and everything. So here we go. The first fight was Scoggins versus Sampo. And... Scoggins was just better everywhere, you know, and that's what I thought. I felt like these guys had similar styles, but Scoggins was just better at everything, and he won an easy 30-20-7 decision on all the cards. Next was Ishmael McIntosh versus Leo Kunz, and uh, like I said, I thought both of these guys were solid prospects, and I still think Leo is, but I just think Ishmael is the much brighter prospect. I think he's got... Um, a brighter future, and he just looks super talented. Next was Colby Covington versus Mike Pyle. And Mike Pyle almost caught Colby with a rear naked choke at the end of the fight, but for the most part, Colby was just holding him down, not really doing anything. It was pretty boring. And I mean, I thought Pyle was well-rounded enough to make it where he wouldn't be able to do that, but I guess not. So good one for Colby Covington. Too bad for Mike Pyle. I, think, I still think Mike Pyle is a better fighter. It's just Colby is the better wrestler. Next was Natal versus Hall. And if you guys remember, I said, I mean, Hall's not invincible. I, even though I picked him, I had a feeling that Natal was still, I mean, if I was betting, I would have put money on Natal just because I knew he was a pretty big underdog and he had a decent chance. Um, and that's what happened. I thought uh, Hall won the first one, Natal won the second round, and then the third round was pretty close. I still think Hall won it by a little bit, but I can see it was still a close round. So Natal winning it wasn't like the worst decision ever, you know, it was a close round. Um, good win for Natal. I think that's three or four in a row for him, and that just shows you. Right? Hall is decent, but he's not great. He does isn't well rounded. He has good striking, but aside from that, he's just average. Next was Dong Young Kim versus Josh Berkman, and this is basically a one-sided wrestling match, which is what I thought it was going to be. Berkman's a great fighter, but it's just a bad stylistic matchup. And like I said, I think they just hate Berkman because they gave him two bad stylistic matchups for him right off the bat. And it just seems like they want to get rid of him, and I don't know why. It's not, I don't think it's fair to him. They just keep giving him matchups where he's most likely going to lose. But anyway, good win for Kim. Next was John Dotson versus Zach Mikowski. And I thought Mikowski won, in my opinion. And I know some other people thought Mikowski won, too. Um, and as what I said, I thought Dotson being off for so long would make him rusty, and I think it did make him look rusty. I think he should fight one more time before he fights for the title because he did not look good in this fight. I mean, it was a good win over a good guy, but I don't think he won it. But I still think um, John Dotson's some guy who's most likely going to beat Demetrius, but I just didn't think he won that fight. Next was Benavides versus Moraga, and this was a lot like the Sampo fight. Um, Benavides was just better everywhere. I, th I thought it was a good fight, a fast fight, but they basically have the same style, so Benavides is better at everything. Next, the big one. I picked Andre Lofty. I had a feeling that his speed was going to be the difference versus Travis Brown's range because Travis Brown, in my opinion, doesn't use his range that great. And that's what it was. I think Andre Lofty was able to just close the distance because Travis Brown doesn't use his range very well. And, you know, when it's speed versus length, you've got to use your length, and Travis Brown doesn't use his length very well. So Andre Lofty, you know, that was, in my opinion, the second best fight of the year. I, I still think Jones versus Cormier is the best fight of the year, but... So far, at least. But that was definitely number two. Henderson versus uh, a Thatch is still up there. I'd say that's number three. But for me, this was definitely the second best fight of the year so far. And, you know, huge one for Andre Lasky. I think he's in the top five right now. So next was Donald Cerrone versus John McDessey. And it was basically a kickboxing match. And McDessey had some moments here and there. But more or less, Cerrone was just whooping him. And eventually he caught him with a head kick and cracked his jaw. And, you know, hopefully McDessey comes back, but it's probably going to take a while because he fractured his jaw. Next was Vitor Belfort versus Chris Weidman. And I thought Vitor, when it went to the ground, I thought that was probably going to happen. I thought he would hurt him 
Weidman would take him down, and then he would go for an arm bar. And pretty much everything I thought was going to happen, up, aside from the arm bar, happened. I thought Vitor would hurt him, Weidman would get a takedown. But Weidman just outgrappled him and beat the shit out of him and won by TKO. So good win for Weidman. Vitor looked good early, but, you know, he just couldn't do anything once it got on the ground. And finally, Anthony Johnson versus Daniel Cormier. And, you know, I think Anthony Johnson still looks decent. He looked better in this fight, in my opinion, than he did in his other couple of UFC fights. Because those fights were... It's hard to tell how good a guy is when it's only one round. I mean, Anthony Johnson, I think, can knock out anybody in the first round. It's second, third, fourth rounds when you see how good a guy is. And to me, Johnson looked like he was in the fight the whole fight. It was just um, a huge advantage grappling-wise for Cormier. But I think give Johnson a year or two, and he might be a more serious threat once his grappling's better. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll put a video up for 188 predictions soon.